Zach Levine is no stranger to bad nights at the office. The amount of times it led to his benching, however, especially in crunch time? Well, the Bulls guard can count that on one hand. Maybe one finger, and hopefully not the same one he seemingly wanted to flash in his coach's direction after the Friday loss to Orlando. You play a guy like me down the stretch, Levine said in the wake of the Magic winning their first road game of the entire season. Do I like the decision? No. Do I have to live with it? Yeah. Be ready to put my shoes on and play the next game. With the 13-3 Celtics coming to town on Monday, he'd better be more than just ready to lace the shoes up and play the next game. Welcome to life as a max contract player, Mr. Levine. The lights are brighter, the expectations higher, and the scrutiny rabid. First, it's important to point out that coach Billy Donovan's decision to sit Levine in the wake of a dismal 1-for-14 shooting night, was the right one. Trailing by 4 with 3.43 left, Donovan went with second-year guard Deo Sunmu, and for the next 3 minutes and 38 seconds it looked brilliant. The Bulls not only chased Orlando's lead down, but took a 4-point lead after a Sunmu blocked shot. It appeared Dasunmu would play hero again, as he stymied Jalen Suggs from driving to the hoop with the clock ticking down. However, credit the Magic Guard for hitting a ridiculous step back three with five seconds left. A shot that gut punched the Bulls into a fourth straight loss, but also left them answering questions of why they suddenly had the most expensive cheerleader in the Midwest sitting on their bench with a game on the line. I was trying to do what was best for our team in that moment, Donovan said.